So we first got emus about four and a half years ago when we hatched out this guy, hey bamboo. And so you can imagine how excited we were a little over two months ago when we got eggs for the first time. What? There's eggs in here. We haven't had an egg yet. And I just looked in here. I was like, what are those rocks or football in here? And I'm like, oh, those are eggs. And at first we tried to leave the eggs here in their coop, hoping that they would sit on them. And initially they didn't. Peekaboo started to break them up. And so we had to come in, grab the six remaining eggs, take them into the incubator. Now it takes emu eggs about 50 to 60 days to hatch. Over the course of that time, you have the option to weigh them. This is the end of week one. So I'm gonna weigh these eggs each week, put them on a scale and track their weight loss. So make sure that I'm keeping humidity at the right level. Got a little sticker on each one. So this is my 650 gram egg. 635, we're looking for about 10 to 15 grams of weight loss every week. So this one's at 15 grams of loss. Now let me explain the purpose of weighing them. So you can just leave the eggs alone in the incubator and hope that everything works out. But if you actually weigh them, you can check the weight loss of them and it should be somewhere between 10 and 20% weight loss to make sure that you're losing the proper amount of weight in the egg and that way you'll know that your temp and humidity are correct. If you lose too much, then you need to add more water. If you don't lose enough, then you need to have less water or less humidity in there. Now we'll start these eggs back rotating again. And we'll check back in in one week and we've got about seven weeks in total for these eggs to incubate and at about day 50 55 hopefully we'll show you some of these eggs hatching now after a few weeks we had a problem one of the eggs started to stink so this bathroom stinks this morning and it's coming from this incubator oh one of these eggs is bubbling it's gone bad those are fine that egg right there I think that's my problem. It's got a leak somewhere. So we're about three weeks in incubating. We're getting a leak out of it. There's no way we want to keep it. This one's getting tossed. We're down to five eggs. And then we kept weighing the eggs and our 665 gram egg is now 610 grams. A couple weeks later, another one had the same problem. So we're at our six week weigh in and this is starting to stink again. So there's another egg that has sprung a leak and I think I just see one of them bubbling. I think it's that one right there. Let me double check. Shoot. That one's exploding all over. So now our six eggs in the incubator are down to four with about two weeks to go. Here we go. Oh, exploded. Oof, that stinks. Yikes. And now here we are eight weeks later and we're ready to check the eggs to see if there's any movement in them like we did about four years ago when we saw Bamboo's egg moving around before he hatched. See that? It's day 55. This is usually about the time when emu eggs are gonna hatch and we wanna check them, see if there's any movement in there, see if there's any potential for any of these eggs to hatch. All right, so this is egg number one. One, we wanna check it for any pips, for any cracks. Years ago, we were able to check it for warmth on one end of the egg. I'm not feeling anything there. The other thing is you can check to see for movement. If there's something in here, should move around in the egg. Not seeing anything from egg number one. Let's check second egg. I've, there's something I've got to show you on the second something egg. Something interesting about this one is there is a crack all along here. Normally with a pip, you're gonna get a big localized crack where it's gonna be in a smaller area. And this has one long crack. So I don't know if it's something that just everything from inside, the pressure caused the crack, I'm not sure. So it doesn't seem like egg number two has any movement either. Although it feels very lopsided as well. So this is egg number three, also known as our really dirty egg. I think it got some of the yolk on it from some of the other eggs that were cracked open. And this is our last egg in our current batch, which when I say current, we've got some more eggs and I'll tell you about those in a few minutes. Now, one of the things we do to monitor the incubation process is to weigh the egg. So for example, this egg was 665 grams. And so this one's at 535 grams. So it lost about 19% humidity 
over the entire time. And that's right within that range. You want it somewhere in the range of about 10 to 20%. We'd like it to be around 15%. That tells me the humidity was right at about the right level. We're gonna put these back in the incubator for a few days, so we're nearing the end. Now, in this incubator, we currently have six eggs. Four, the outer four are from the original hatch that should be ending, and then we have two more that have been laid in the last week or two. There's a second one from four days ago. Guess we'll take it inside. And then we've got one more egg, and this was just laid yesterday. And so I'm gonna weigh this and mark it, and then I'll put it in as well. And so we'll have three eggs that will still have a chance to hatch out before the, the season is over. So on day 55, we've got up to about day 60 that these eggs can hatch, but I'm not seeing any movement. So I definitely wanna get into them and see if they're actually fertilized, see if peekaboo actually was breeding with bamboo or burt. And, and then we've got the eggs under burt outside that we need to check on as well. Well, it is day 56. I'm not seeing any activity, any movement on these eggs. We're gonna double check with each one, but we've got a little plan to start to get into them to see if anything developed, if they actually were fertilized, and if there actually were baby emus developing inside of them. You can kind of see the way it's sitting. It's definitely heavy in this area and not over here. So I don't know if it's partially developed, if, if it really is fully developed, I think it would be more balanced. But. Okay, so the plan here, we're gonna to try to move in away from potential chicken here, and we're gonna drill a little hole on this end, because I think it's gonna be somewhere in there. And we'll see if we can see into there first before we actually open up the egg. So it's not yeah. just yolk, so that's a good sign. Yeah, but there's no movement, no sound. So I have a feeling there's something in here pouring down. Nothing's moving from one side to the other. Nothing smells bad. I'll drill one more in the top here so I give myself a spot to divide it. Well, we may have hit the, the lining or something, but. It looks all yellow. Yeah. I don't think anything developed at all. So we're gonna start to use our hole right here. I had a Dremel tool. It would have created a nice little line as it cut, but it's not working right. So we're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. All right, let's see what we got in here. Any development at all? There's something right there. What's that? Baby. I can't tell what that is. There's something thick here. Could be something. It could just be part of the the yolk. I'm not sure. So that's what the inside of an egg looks like. Now we don't know if this is fertilized or not. We don't know what this was, if this was just part of the, the original egg or if this was a little bit of development. Now we originally got these six eggs that we brought in. They had been outside for, we're not sure, maybe for a week or two. There'd been some cold spells, so we don't know if they possibly were fertilized and how long they'd been sitting there. So there's a lot of unknown factors with these, these first batch of eggs that we got. There could have been a lot of problems when we went in to get them. But this first one doesn't look too promising. We just, we don't know what we're looking at here. Let's go get a second egg and we'll check that as well. Okay, this is egg number two. And this one got a crack down it like in the last week. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Put a little hole on the opposite side of where anything seems to be at. all yellow through there. All right, so we're getting into egg number two and it sure looks like the same thing. Lots of yolk, haven't seen any development in there. That's a shame, got two eggs to go. we had planted from last year. I just had a 
wire mesh and some plastic over it to protect it through the winter and it's doing great. Planted some more spinach and these are beets right here. This was the strawberry spinach. I don't know if it's coming up or not. And then my peas. We had red spinach in here one time and it comes back every single year. So, red spinach. <laughs> We thought we would try an experiment today since half the eggs we opened up didn't seem like they were fertilized nothing was developed so we thought we would change things up and see if that affects anything so peekaboo is the one that's laying eggs bamboo we have never seen breed we put Bert in here and he immediately just sat on the eggs I don't think he bred either but we got Ernie here that chases cashew around like crazy. They do not like each other. So we thought we'd change partners up to see if that has any effect. But we do not want to affect anything on the eggs in here, so we're gonna close the door so he has nothing bothering him. So this is Bert in here, and he's been sitting on eggs. Originally, we had, I think, six that were under him. Last video that we checked with him, he had two under him. Two eggs down here, and there's a crushed one. Now, we've had some good news because some of the eggs had actually gotten laid in here, and we saw a video the other night when Bert stood up, and he actually had five eggs under him. So there's two eggs that are within the next couple weeks, potentially could hatch if they were fertilized and then three others that could come in behind them. So we're not sure what's gonna happen there, but we're excited to find out in the next couple weeks if any of these are fertile. All right, so what's the plan? Put bamboo over on this side and Ernie in here. All right. Let's see how that goes. Bamboo. Now bamboo had been over here with Cashew pretty much his whole couple of years of being here, pretty much his whole life. I think Cashew will be happy about it, but I still don't think they'll breed. So we're hoping that Ernie and Peekaboo figure things out. So he's all set. Some food there, some water there. And ultimately, if this doesn't work out, it's not a huge deal. I think next year they'll have it figured out. And we have a lot of people that say, hey, you need to give them bigger space. And we've told people that we're actually working on it. Had some people with some snarky remarks saying, yeah, I've heard that before. Or, yeah, you start a lot of projects and don't finish them. Well, we've got a big project that's taking place just over here that's gonna give these guys way more space. So I promise it's coming. All right, let's go check out the last two eggs and see if we have anything in there. What's the smell like? Bad. All right, so we're down to the last two eggs. It feels about the same thing. I feel a lot of weight down at this end. And so we'll open them up and see if there's anything different here. Ooh. Oh, you don't want to open it up in here? Stop it. Over. It's really rotten. Oh, yeah. No, that's not a good color. Yeah, that one's not good. Something's yeah. bad in there. So that one's rotten. We're just gonna get that one out. <laughs> Last egg, we'll find out what's in here. Oh. Gosh, what do you think that one? Whoa. I might have been just like it's cooked on one side yeah, maybe. That one had that little development. We haven't seen it in these other eggs. That's a bummer. Hoping for better success with our next batch of eggs under Bert. 
So this guy just had a birthday. How old did you turn? Um, four. That's right. Isaiah turned four years old this last week and he had some mail just for him from one of our viewers. Why don't you go ahead and open it. It says, you're four. And the Avengers would love to have you on their team. We've got Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and the Hulk. Happy fourth birthday, Isaiah, from Leilani, Peter, and Nancy. Thank you, Leilani. Thank you, for it, Peter. Thank you, Nancy. Pause on deck shirt. Perfect team. Pup tacular. Which shirt's your favorite? Yellow. The yellow one. Well, thank you so much, guys, for the gift for Isaiah. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. All right. This one's gonna be gross. Oh! Ugh. It smells so bad.